All right, so let's put this all together, this change in energy with the two ways that we can transfer energy. All right, so when we say change in energy, how, where's that energy going? We already know that the energy can be transferred via heat and work, so let's put those together. All right, so we got my system, and we got our surroundings, and we can transfer energy to or from the system to the surroundings or surroundings to the system, right? Mm -hmm. And they can transfer via heat or work. So we can say it transfers via heat, Q, or work. And so if you added both of those up, if you somehow, some way, and we'll talk about how we can do this, you figured out how much heat was transferred and how much work was done, added them up, guess what? You just figured out how much energy transferred. Those are the only two ways we can transfer energy. So another equation that we can use for um, change in energy is change in energy is equal to the sum of the heat plus the work. All right, so now let's talk about all those signs because it says signs here and there's a question mark. So we should probably answer, talk about signs. So, change in energy for the system. What if it is negative? What's that mean? We've talked about that a little bit. What can we say? Okay. The, the surroundings, gained a... surroundings gained energy? Yeah. What happened to the system? The system lost. System lost. Okay. So, you could say it a couple different ways. Systems transferring energy to the surroundings. Surroundings is, is gaining energy. System is losing energy. Okay, any one of those ways. So we'll say the system is losing energy or lost energy and surrounding gained energy. It has to go together. And of course we know that they're equal in magnitude. System lost 10 joules. Surroundings picked up 10. 100 joules, 100 joules. 200 joules, 200 joules. What could we say if the delta, the change in system for the change in energy of the system was positive? What's that mean? System gained. What else? Surroundings lost. Perfect. All right, so we can do the same thing. We got to think about the same thing about terms of signs when we talk about heat and work, and they'll follow the same type of logic. All right, so when we calculate heat and or work, guess what? We're going to have signs. System losing or gaining, the heat's going to be negative or positive. Okay, so for the system, all right. What would it mean if the heat is negative? Okay, so what we want to say is the system losing heat, or is it transferring heat to the surroundings, or is it gaining heat? Is it absorbing heat from the surroundings? Yeah, so it's losing heat, just like the same sign as changing energy. So if it's losing energy, it could be losing energy via heat, by heat. And so if Q is negative, that means the system is losing heat. Uh, the surrounding is gaining heat, or surrounding is gaining heat, so we can say that the system is transferring, we could say it, let's see if I can write it, heat to the surroundings. What does it mean if Q is positive, if heat is positive? So for the system, the system would be gaining, the surroundings would be 
losing the heat. So the tra so the uh, where would be the transfer? And the tr heat would be transferring from the surroundings to the system. So the system's absorbing energy. So the surroundings is transferring heat. All right, we'll just have to do this pretty quickly for work. All right, but the same logic is going to hold true, except for we got to think about what it means to do work. All right, so what if the negative? So if I do work, pretend I'm the system. Okay, and we'll talk about how chemical systems can do work. All right, so usually I go to the, the classroom door um, and open it, but it's way up there, so I'll just use this door. I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm opening this door. Am I doing work? Yes, I'm doing work. Do you think I'm gaining energy or losing energy? I'm losing energy. So what would be the sign of my energy? Negative. So if work is negative, that means I'm doing work and I'm losing energy. Okay? So we say that the system, on the system, is doing work on the surroundings, the door. So the system is doing work on the surroundings and if it's the opposite okay the system's gaining energy positive that must mean the surroundings is doing work on the system And I don't have a, a good example of that for me, but in terms of chemical systems, one way the surroundings can do work on the system is when you compress gases. When you compress gases, later that gas can be released and to do work. So it's gaining energy when you compress gases. Or pushing down on a spring. When you push down on a spring, you're doing work on the spring. You're gaining, it's gaining energy, it's gaining potential energy. So that spring can do, do work.